the earth is not a sphere. If you had said this to your great grandmother, she would have been asking you why you would tell her something so obvious. This is a fact that has been known for hundreds of years. So why, under the supposedly greatest time for scientific discovery, am I telling you this? Over the past 100 years, bribed scientists paid for by rich leftist elites with their radical ideas have suddenly decided that the Earth, rather than being mostly flat like reality would suggest, is shaped like a big ball. They create the lie that people have believed this all along, as if the Christians and the Jews blessed by God, would have lacked the wisdom to work out that the people in the southern hemisphere would simply fall down into hell if this ball really were earth. The leftists therefore have to deny the truth value of the Bible and the Tanakh by being a harmful, radical atheist. They claim that these books have no evidence and therefore should be believed. They claim that religious people are t taking a leap of faith. Yet, and yet, they give no evidence to disprove these blessed texts either. So therefore, they're just being, they're being just as false. There is no God, there's no base for human self-worth. The body is just the same as any other matter. Murder is also fine without a definition for morality. Everything is moral. This atheist position fits perfectly with leftists, who as a group are unable to deal with uncomfortable truths, such saying that everyone will go to eternal paradise after death, and that socialism is morally worse than genocide. The atheist invention of subjectivity allows them to believe and be correct in thinking that the multiverse must be true and that all white people are slave owners. This is the power that allows leftist elites to brainwash our children into being sceptical and accepting of gay people. This is also exactly how leftists are able to justify the ridiculous idea that the earth is a sphere they claim that gravity is, rather than a constant force, one that changes as things go for further, one that depends on how far something is going at. It is an objective fact that if you drop a fat communist and a thin communist out of a helicopter at the same time, that they will hit the ground at the same time. But the invention of subjectivity means that leftists can claim that masses are attracted to each other even though it's as easy to run away from a dead, fat, communist body as a thin one. The result of all this, it is now illegal to throw communists out of planes and to stab men who pretend to be women. So trust your ancient relatives and trust God. Ignore the years of research and basic evidence saying that the conservatives are wrong. This has been Dinner Murder for Prager University. If you would like to make a tax-deductible donation to Prager University, please put your money in the nearest toilet and flush it. Thank you.